talk about something that I love and I'm actually quite obsessed with and it can be a hot topic for some people because for whatever reason, well they have reasons, but for some crazy reasons, people in the Disney community really hate magic bands and I don't know why. This is the magic band. It comes in a few different colors. Just to give you guys a little bit of a background, if you're unfamiliar with magic bands, Walt Disney World Resort introduced these a few years ago and it's kind of basically your key through the entire Disney World experience. It is your key to your hotel room and it's what you scan, it's your ticket, your park ticket. It's what you scan to actually get into the park. It's what you scan to use your fast pass tickets. It's automatically links to your photo pass or memory maker when you do any sort of photo pass things. So a pass holder at Disneyland and Walt Disney World, I go to Walt Disney World a few times a year and the Magic Band has honestly made every experience so much easier and I will tell you why. If you're going to Walt Disney World and you're staying at the Walt Disney World Resort and you're flying into the International Airport in Orlando, there's a free shuttle that's the Disney Magical Express. You'll be behind people that are fumbling through papers, looking for their reservations and you kind of get stuck there and you're like, ugh. And you can link your Magical Express reservation to your Magic Band. So when you fly into the Orlando Airport, have your Magic Band on and you scan it there at the front and all of your information is right there. You've probably been in a position before where you had an amazing character meet and greet and PhotoPass captured it all on their camera and they scan a card and then give you that card or you have to take out your annual pass and they scan your annual pass and then you can look them up later online or link them up later online so you can view those photos. The amazing thing about the Magic Band is you don't have to do that. Instead of scanning their card or your annual pass, they just scan your Magic Band and then it shows up on the app in like 15 minutes and you can download them straight from the app. It is so nice. I love not having to fumble for my annual pass all the time. The greatest thing about it, honestly, is that you can charge everything you want to at any kiosk, any store, whatever. You can charge it to the credit card that you leave on your hotel room when you link it to your Magic Band. It's amazing. A lot of people are concerned and they hate the Magic Band so much because they think that their information is gonna get stolen off of it. But the Magic Band itself doesn't actually store any sort of personal information. It does not store your credit card information. If you go to a store and you make your purchase and you scan this to pay, it's kind of like using an Apple Watch. You scan this on a little thing and you put in a PIN number and it doesn't charge your credit card. It sends that charge to the room. And then when you check out of your hotel room, that's when it'll charge your credit card and you can see all of the charges that you've accrued throughout your stay and it all gets charged at one big thing. I think magic bands get the short end of the stick and a lot of people don't like them because they say it takes away from the Walt Disney World experience because you have to reserve your fast passes in advance now. And though that is true on the Disney World app, you can book your fast passes so far in advance as long as you have a valid ticket for those parks and people are like oh but when you get to the park like then you run and get your fast passes now you have to plan everything and yada 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 and though that it's true that's not the magic band system that is the fast pass plus system and in regards to the fast pass plus system i also love that system. I think it is really handy. I think it's great. It's frustrating when you don't get fast passes for the time that you want for the rides that you want. But even if you were doing the old school fast pass system with the paper tickets, you still don't get to do every attraction that you want to do at the time you want to do it. I think a lot of people don't know this, but all of the fast passes for any specific day and any specific attractions are not allotted all at like one time. Let's say there's a thousand fast passes for Space Mountain for 8 a.m. I know this because I've tried to get fast passes for Seven Dwarfs in advance every single time I've gone to Disney World. They are never available because everybody books them up. But if it's the first thing I do that morning, I go on the app and I load it, there's always fast passes available for those big attractions like Seven Dwarfs, even fireworks, parades, all of that fun stuff. I think the app and the Fast Pass Plus system gets a lot of heat when really, I think it makes it amazing because I love to be able to plan my trip in advance and I love to know what I'm doing. And I think a lot of people that hate it and have these problems with it are annual pass holders, which in and of itself I think is weird because admit it, 
all of us annual pass holders do the parks differently when we go versus how a tourist would do the parks. So as an annual pass holder or even a cast member, when you visit the parks, Disneyland, Walt Disney World, doesn't matter, you do that park very differently. You go to people watch, you go to eat, you go to hang out with friends. Very rarely do any of us go open to close. We have to hit this and hit this and hit this and we're not we're not meticulously planning our days because we know we can go next week or next weekend or next month. We have more accessibility to the park. I love the Magic Bands. I think they're great. I love the Walt Disney World app. I love the Fast Pass Plus system. A lot of people don't get it and I get a lot of heat for loving it so much and I don't know why because it does what it's supposed to do. Do I think it would work in Disneyland? I do but it's not here. I don't know that I would be as excited for it to come to Disneyland because like I said, when you're a pass holder, the Magic Band and the whole Fast Pass Plus system doesn't really apply to you as much because like I said earlier, I love to be able to charge stuff to my room at Walt Disney World when I visit, but I'm never going to be staying at a Disneyland resort because I live like 20 minutes away from it. So I won't be able to use it to pay for stuff, which is one of the perks I love when I'm traveling as a visitor to Walt Disney World. You know, if you really think about it, why I don't know that it would work as well in Disneyland as it does Disney World is because on any given day in any given park, you are gonna have more annual pass holders to visitors in Disneyland than you're gonna have to annual pass holders to visitors at Walt Disney World. Walt Disney World is a much bigger tourist attraction for people all over the world. There's so many more parks, there's so much more to do, so many places to stay. That's why I think it works so well in that park, in that park only, because Magic Bands are not available at any other park in the world, just Disney World. If you use the Magic Band and you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. If you use the Magic Band and you hate it, leave a comment and let me know why because like I said, this has been a very hot topic since Magic Bands have come out. There's very polarizing opinions. Some people absolutely hate them and if you do, I really want to know your reason for why. If you love them, let me know why. Yeah, Magic Bands. I'm into it.